All right, guys, I just want to talk about diversification today. Uh, if my uh, camera does what it should do instead of wandering off. I've got it on a gimbal, um, so it may play up. Um, yeah, I mean, one of the things I did when I moved out in Spain is I wasn't expecting to be doing the same as I do in the UK. Uh, in the sense that I would expect to actually have to do other stuff beyond my uh, surveying and that um, if I want to be here full time and right now I'm sort of at that crossroad again because I'm sitting on all my uh, crypto and don't want to sell anything um, which also means I have to find other ways to generate cash because we've got a sideways market ongoing at the moment in the crypto space um, which also means that I've got a lot invested in it, but there is nothing I want to sell. It's a bit like, I've mentioned this on, I think it was the last video, it's a bit like getting Amazon shares or uh, getting the <coughs> shares in Google at one cent, which is obviously they're over a thousand dollars now, so the last thing you want to do is sell them on. Um, so the point being is you've got to diversify and look at other things you can do. One of the things we do have here in Spain, as I mentioned already, is relating to the air conditioning. So I'm looking at the installations on those. Um, now, <coughs> they're a lot smaller than stuff I normally do, let's put it that way. I mean, I can walk in this system to normally deal with. But, like sticking one up there. Well, I so said the gimbal's playing up at the minute, so where's it going? Up, <laughs> up there. <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's doing its own thing but the, there's a lot of these split units so pretty much you've got at least one one to four in every single one in the house well a lot of them ain't been updated since the 80s and 90s and quite simply on the last legs and they do sell out I know they sell out because with Igor last year a lot of places didn't have any because they've pretty much sold them out when the holiday season kicks in because the places have been empty most of the year and then when they turn up on holiday well switch the aircon on and nothing's happening this is our mailboxes by the way um, so yeah I do apologize the camera is actually wandering off by itself it's not where it is the gimbal's playing up, I'm not sure what's up with it. Um, but the whole point being is diversification. Also, that's why I'm just checking the mailbox. I'm looking for my lock, lock picking kit for the other types of lock. Because most locks are like this, which I can pick open quite easily already. Um, but the other type, I don't know if I've got one on my key. I haven't actually got one with me. Um, they have the little dimples on the side. It's the same method, but it's a different lock pick. Um, so I'm just waiting for those to arrive so I can practice with those so I'll start doing some locksmithing and start doing the aircon installations anything over complicated or something I don't want to do I'll sub out but ultimately it's diversification and I know a few of you guys are looking at going to the Philippines and some of this stuff fits in with doing things around what you have already uh, for example I know some of the guys say, well, I ain't got enough money to go yet, or this. There's always ways to make extra cash. I'll tell you that now, because the average person's too lazy to do stuff. I've noticed this years ago. I mean, this is why I got into um, maintenance and facilities, because most places, people don't, they don't want to get their hands dirty. Everyone wants the office job. So if you actually turn around and do the jobs that nobody else wants, often they're paying better. And that was the funny thing, I remember we in the in an office years ago. The first thing I got from somebody from a, an office was sort of like looking down on the the guy doing the repairs. And the funny thing is, as I said to said to her, I says, How much do you get paid? He said, Well, it's none of your business. I said, Well, I can tell you it's not over 24k. I said, but he's already on at least 34. And you're looking down on him, but he's also got HNC or HND. He, he didn't just get a job and then work his way up to a salary with it sort of fixed. He can get work out of hours and he, and he does. There's no point looking down on engineers as if they're second class citizens. Firstly, their world revolves around them, whether people believe it or not. 
because if nobody maintains or constructs anything nothing happens so engineering is one of those things that's often seen as um, as a bit of an underdog but in reality everything relies on it um, but anyway yeah diversity diversifying what you're doing looking at different options finding ways to make a living um, it's important and like I said, the guys going to the Philippines, if you just need to make a couple of grand a year, you'll, if you look, look enough, you'll find ways to make that easily, you know, for your first trip overseas. Because I know a lot of you guys, it is the first trip. And the same way, you need to pay your bills off. You can do it. There's a lot of black market stuff out there, and people don't talk about black market anymore. But the reality is, there's nothing wrong with it. It's part of a normal economy. I mean, it's all right if you're an MP paying five pounds for a fifty-pound bottle of uh, champagne at the House of the Parliament, but in reality, that's not you or me. That's them, and of course they'll criticise you uh, making a bit of money yourself because they're quite happily living off the back of everybody else. But realise that it doesn't have to be that way. That's the important bit. Thanks for watching.